Thank you, Mr. Chair. First, uh, I'd like to associate myself with your uh, comments, commending and thanking Justice Breyer for his uh, tenure, not just on the Supreme Court, but his years and years of public service. Uh, as a California senator, he's a native California. We're particularly proud of him. And uh, I don't think there's anybody who uh, uh, could have pressured or bullied him to make a decision that he didn't want to do. I uh, have too much respect for him than to uh, follow that line of thinking. But it is uh, my honor this morning, Mr. Chairman and Ranking Member Grassley, to also introduce two of the outstanding nominees from uh, California today, nominated to serve on the U.S. District Court for the Central District of California. Uh, first, uh, Judge Kenley Cato is with us, joined by her spouse, Dana, and her son, Koji, who is uh, just pretty upset that he's missing school today, but we'll have to make it up to him uh, by maybe learning something in Judiciary Committee. Uh, and is Maya here with us today? Not after all? Not was, Wasn't able to join us today. Uh, Judge Cato was born and raised in Los Angeles, earning her undergraduate degree from UCLA and her JD from Harvard Law School. She began, as you've heard, her legal career in the Central District as a law clerk to Judge Robert uh, Takasugi. Uh, from there, she joined the Central District Federal Public Defender's Office. And over the course of five years there, Judge Cato represented hundreds of clients at the district and the circuit court level, helping to realize the constitutional right to counsel regardless of income. Judge Cato's roots in the Los Angeles legal community uh, continued to deepen over the next decade. In her private legal practice, Judge Cato handled a range of criminal and civil litigation, frequently taking on pro bono work, uh, known throughout the Central District for her thoughtfulness and dedication, Judge Cato was chosen to become a federal magistrate judge in 2014. When she swore her judicial oath, she promised to administer equal justice under the law. And as a daughter of Japanese American parents who were interned during World War II, Judge Cato understands the power and the fragility of that charge on a deeply personal level. Judge Kata has demonstrated her commitment to equal justice time and time again as a magistrate judge. She has presided over a wide variety of criminal and civil matters and overseen 10 cases through their trials. And she has dedicated herself to two diversionary programs that help individuals achieve sobriety and re-enter their communities through alternatives to incarceration. I'm proud to support Judge Cato's nomination to the Central District bench. Now it's also my honor to introduce uh, and welcome Judge Sunshine Sykes and all the members of her family who are with her today. Uh, here to support her, including her daughters. I understand. Welcome, welcome to the Senate, welcome to the Judiciary Committee. Uh, Judge Sykes is a path-breaking public servant, an accomplished attorney, and an experienced jurist. Uh, she uh, is a member of the Coyote Pass clan of the Navajo Nation. Judge Sykes is devoted to pursuing justice for those who have too often been left behind by our legal system. She earned her undergraduate degree and her JD from Stanford University. And after law school, she chose to begin her legal career with the California Indian Legal Services. There, she represented survivors of domestic violence while also working to develop community solutions and support. Judge Sykes built a reputation as a skillful advisor and advocate for tribes addressing a wide variety of legal matters from developing tribal courts to preserving cultural resources. She also developed an expertise in juvenile dependency cases under the Indian Child Welfare Act, which she furthered as an attorney with the Juvenile Defense Panel. Judge Sykes has demonstrated her compassion and dedication to the best interests of children as Deputy County Counsel for Riverside County, where she oversaw cases involving abused and neglected children. She continued to work with tribal organizations to support community solutions and culturally appropriate services for Native families. Now, recognizing Judge Sykes' outstanding work, Governor Jerry Brown appointed her to California's Superior Court in 2013. 
And over the past nine years, Judge Sykes has presided over nearly 100 civil, criminal, and appellate cases. She is a leader on the Superior Court, appointed as presiding judge over the appellate division in 2019. She brings an impressive legal record, work ethic, and sense of empathy as a judge for the Central District. If confirmed, she will be the first Native American to serve on a federal court in California, and I'm so proud to support her nomination. Colleagues, both of these nominees are extremely well qualified for the job that they seek, and their qualifications are only strengthened by the personal, familial, and community history that they also bring with them to the bench. They exemplify in their respective ways why it is so important for us to rebuild all of our institutions, including our judiciary, in a way that better reflects the America that we serve. I'm thankful for Judge Cato and Judge Sykes' willingness to serve on the federal bench, and I strongly urge my colleagues to support their nominations. Thank, Thank you, you, Mr. Senator Chair. Dio.